Hello everyone, my name is Shazan Sharani and today I would like to talk about a very interesting topic which is how algae could produce electricity from wastewater. So this is actually a final year project of mine where I completed it in order uh, to fulfill my um, degree requirement. So now you might wonder how can algae produce electricity? The solution is pretty much simple actually. Algae can produce electricity through a device we call a biophotovoltaic cell. So it is basically a device that uses a microorganism to convert solar energy to electrical energy. So this device uh, is also known as BPV. Uh, as you can see from the picture, it consists of an anode, cathode, and also an external circuit. So at the beginning, we will place the al algae cells at the anode side. And since you know algae is uh, uh, similarly to plants, they are able to carry out photosynthesis. So we provide them with enough light source, carbon dioxide, and water. So they will use these, sources, these sources and convert water into oxygen and also protons. So in the process, electrons are generated. So these electrons will then move to the A0 and later move through the external circuit. Now this movement of electrons is what generates the electricity. The electrons will then reach the cathode and the protons and oxygen will then grab the electrons producing water back. So as a bonus, it can be coupled with wastewater treatment because algae has long been used as a new agent to treat wastewater since they can grow freely in wastewater while reducing the harmful contents in that wastewater. So how was it done in the lab or particularly in my project? So basically at first I had to grow algae in the lab. So in this case, I grew it in two different medias. One is the synthetic media, uh, a chemically synthesized media called the BBM media. And secondly is the palm oil mill effluent, which is a wastewater from the palm oil industry. It has a very harmful content. So I grew the algae in that pomade. So now this is the setup of my experiment. As you can see, you have the I have the BPV right over here. So it has the A0 and also the cathode. So I place my algae uh, both in the BBM and also Pome alternatively on the A0 side. And for the cathode side, I use a special chemical called uh, potassium ferrocyanide. So when I introduce both media, I actually connect them to a multimeter. So this multimeter is later connected to a computer where you can generate a voltage against time graph. So you can really see like as time goes how much electricity is produced. At the same time, since algae does photosynthesis, we need to provide it with a light source. So I provide light at the front of my A0. So how much electricity algae produces during this study? Well, as you can see here, uh, we have a graph of potential or voltage against time. So in this graph, to explain it in simpler terms, I actually divided it into a few cycles. So for each cycle, I actually replace the media on the anode side because once algae has used up that media, you need to replace it. So from this um, graph, we can conclude that algae is able to show stable electricity generation when the medium changes or each time a new cycle is um, a new cycle begins. So um, in, in addition to that, you know, since I grew it in wastewater, you can see that the uh, from my own analysis, uh, COD reduction was achieved in Perme, in which COD is an indicator of the level of harm of that wastewater. And while producing electricity, uh, algae could actually reduce the COD at the same time. And it was able to reduce up to 35.93%, which is a really significant number. And lastly, power production reaches 1.25 watts per me cubic meter. That means for one cubic meter of wastewater, 1.25 watts of electricity can be produced. Okay, you might think that this is such a low amount, but being a pioneer project, because this field is still relatively new, uh, it I think it speaks for itself that it has a very high potential to be developed in the future because 
from what you can see here, we're not only producing electricity, but we're also treating the wastewater at the same time. And I feel that this speaks of algae's potential in which we can use something that is, you know, technically may not be regarded as of value, but use it for a certain value in which is producing electricity while treating the harmful contents at the same time. So that's basically it about my project. I hope you could understand from my explanation how electricity can be produced from algae. Thank you.